Okay, so for this problem, it says perpetuity immediate, first five years, constant equal to 10. Okay. Throughout. And then beginning year six, payments start to increase. So for year six, now it starts to increase by K percent, right? So whenever there is like an increase by like the previous payment, it's always in terms of uh, one plus the growth rate that is stated, right? So we could just simplify this growth rate to one plus uh, 0.01 K. So from uh, 10, at uh, time five, and since increasing starts at six, we would do 10 times uh, one plus 0 0.01k. And then at seven, it would become 10 times one plus 0.01k squared and et cetera. Now, at an annual effective interest rate of 9.2%, the perpetuity has a present value of 167.50, right? So 167.50, so we're going to have to set up an equation of perpetuity, right? So the first thing that we would have to do is that we know that there is like a growth factor of one uh, of a K percentage increase. So we would have to use the first time, first term minus first omitted term over one minus common ratio formula, right? So uh, within this bound, uh, we start to notice that um, we could divide this into two parts, right? So we know that there is a constant uh, payment of 10 in this case. So in order to even start this series, we're gonna have to choose a common, uh, we're gonna have to choose like a comparison date. So we're gonna uh, choose it at time five because increasing starts right after time five. So uh, to start, we're gonna do, first set up the equation, it equals 167.50. And we set it equal to uh, 10, payment of 10 A to the four at effective interest rate of 9.2. So we have those constant payments handled. Now we have to set up this part. So um, we know that at first we would have to discount uh, uh, 10 at time five. So it would be uh, 10 to the V5. So that would be the first term. But the funny thing is that we know that these stream of payments aren't ending anytime soon. So that is why the first omitted term portion of this equation is out. So we would do uh, plus uh, 10 to the V5, that's the first term, over one minus uh, the common ratio of, okay, so we'll have to also discount these, V6, Seven. So let's find the common ratio uh, in between either ors. So uh, we see that this is, uh, so tens and tens would be out. The, the common ratio would be one plus 0 0.01 K uh, V, that's for sure. And now we're gonna set it equal to this whole equation. So uh, I think it's safe for us to solve. We just have to calculate K. So let's solve for this part first. So we can have, wait, so 10 is the payment uh, for a number of years, 9.2 interest rate zero is, uh, value, compute present value, 32.26, okay, plus we know this would be equal to 10 times 1.092 to the 
negative 5 power, which is 6.44. And now one minus, let's com well, let's combine this. Well, we know that V would be nine two. Yeah, let's combine both of these fractions. So So it would be, we would end up with 0 0.092 plus 0.01K. Over 1.092. Okay, now we have this as the denominator in this at top. So now let's solve. We'll flip this over since we're dividing it. So we'll do 6.44 times 1.092 and we get 7.032 over uh, this value. So Okay. Now let's bring this to the other side. So 167.50 minus 32.26, which is 135.24. Okay. Now let's also take this to the other side by dividing that value by 7.032. Okay. Now uh, let's take this to the other side as well by multiplying the value by the other number that I did. And then we're going to put that other number to the other side. So we do 1 divided by 19.23. Now let's formally solve for x. So we subtract this, move this to the other side. And then we also uh, divide by 0 0.01. So 7.3, 4, 137.50, 135.24, yep. Distribute, then we do 7.03248 minus 12.4208. Then we divide it by negative 1.3524. And we find out that K actually equals four. 